This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan, be honest and myself, Kevin Davis. We are Music Love Life, and welcome to another episode. Hey, I'm sure everyone's excited now. You got the party started. Good job, Kevin. You're welcome. We just criticize Kevin about the way that he does the show every time. <laughs> mm-hmm. the, the 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 Don Crony is with his chest. Y'all talk shit every episode. I swear I, to God. Y'all talk shit to me. We y'all start talking shit to me this time. Every episode talking shit about me doing the intro. Right. Yeah, so this is how you fix it? Just shut it down? No emotion. That's cool, though. I'm keeping the same energy. No, that's not the same energy. That's a little bit less. You, less you, is more. You, <laughs> yeah, is we all right, we, ladies and gentlemen. We almost didn't make it today, I guess, because Crystal just jumped off the plane like they just dropped off. She parachuted down here. Well, I don't like, I hate Spirit. Can I just say I hate Spirit what? Airlines? What? Who flies Spirit? No, okay, so a client <laughs> flew me out there on Delta, and then I didn't even check. To see that I was on spirit coming back. <laughs> and That's... by the time I realized it, I was like, oh my God. And because I, I had vowed never to take spirit again because last year, I don't know if you guys remember this, I was going to Turks and Caicos, took spirit to Miami, and spirit just canceled the flight. So I'm in line with 300 people that have a flight on this, on this plane, and they cancel the flight and then tell us that, there's nothing they can do. So people lost their vacations. I had to buy another flight on American. Yeah. I had to pay a whole $400 to, to fly from Atlanta, because right then. And then I was like, I wrote this big post about Spirit. I was like, I'll never, f-. there's a whole F Spirit blog page. Did yours actually have seats or did you have to hold that little handrail like on the train? No, it, it had seats, but the what happened is we got back and I guess some other player was some like thunderstorms. So other other planes had doors to go to, but Spirit is like the punk of the whole airline. So they were like, oh, well, we can't land because other planes have to go in. So we were on the plane an hour and a half just sitting. And I was like, I can, we're here at the airport. Just let us off this plane. Spirit is like straight talk. It's they, horrible. They use Verizon <laughs> and, and T-Mobile service. Oh, my God. I hate Why Spirit. Would, uh, you know, that what that is, honestly, it, it's not necessarily their fault, though, the people who flew you down there, because what they did was they probably went on, like, hotwire.com. Right, and they, right, they did. They and did. they don't let you choose. Right. Like, you know what I'm well, saying? Well, now like, I'm going to have to make sure that whenever someone flies me someplace else. See, you should have you let me... Book that, man. Book you. Oh. Yo. This is why, <laughs> and, and for everybody who doesn't know, this is why artists have those ridiculous writers. Right. Because you don't get caught in these situations. I remember one time, yeah. <laughs> I remember one time, we got down to, um, not Fort Lauderdale, uh, where is it in Florida that has the casinos? I can't remember. Orlando? No, I can't. Tampa? No, I can't remember where it was. But anyway, okay. uh, we get to the airport and mm-hmm. we have to wait because the the there was no car service. Anyway, finally somebody shows up in an old Mercedes. I'm talking about, I'm talking about old, like not like the like janky promoters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, and, it, and and he took us to the hotel, which was a another regular situation. But then it's like, oh well, this is the hotel. Is the we, red roof. This ain't the hotel we got to, and we got to stop it off and get some something. So we were there for like 30 minutes, though. We thought that was our hotel. It was like a motel. Oh my god! It ended up being in the casino, the resort area or whatever. Right. But um, while we were there, he had to switch cars because that was his mom's car. Oh. And he 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 was like, I didn't want to pick y'all up at the airport in in my car because <laughs> I wanted it to look good. <laughs> I'm like, but well, it still doesn't look good, right? Right, right, right. Now, now, now we're, we going, going? we're going to our hotel in your car. And right. it was like some Nissan Sentra. Some, it was, Bless his heart. That's why that you, same energy. That's why you have to have a rider. You do. And you know Kristen, what? But if, I, but, if, but if I had a, was booking a client, I would never have been that sloppy. Right. But because it was for me, you I was tried just to like, do oh, favors she was like, and okay, like, cool. And then I get back and I'm like, no. And I'm thinking, okay. So, you know, you're sitting there and I'm like, okay, it's just an hour and a and like 15 minute flight <laughs> Spirit can't mess it, it can't up be bad. It can't be that bad Of course they come through And they're like You can't even get water On Spirit Without paying for it mm-hmm. So I'm like I don't want anything to drink I don't want anything to eat I don't even want to use the bathroom We get back And we're actually Flying on time I'm Like okay I'll be able to get home And change And 
we sit there an hour and a half because every other, and I see all these Delta flies by, American, everybody else is going to the gate, but we're sitting there waiting like the the slow kids in school that oh. don't, I was horrible. So so it's okay for you to say that kind of stuff about slow kids. But when I say stuff, that was it's bad. like, I'm sorry. the show gets that shut down. Nice. It was horrible. I'm sorry. The slow kids actually went first. They, they ate did. lunch at like yeah. 945 and they got they out of school did. at like 2. They so, did get out of school early. Yeah, they were on that short bus early. And they were super strong. Well, all they had of them. to get them. Get Every them last out. one of them had full man strength. And full, <laughs> like they had this kind of beard in like eighth grade. That is horrible. I'm, I'm sorry. serious. Though. I didn't, I have you ever said fought that. somebody in the spade class? That's what really slow is. That? You did? No, but I've seen somebody get oh, fought. I was like, but who, who, what? It was who a guy named, somebody it was a guy named Titty Ball. And Titty Ball, he wasn't your, he wasn't your average. His name was Titty Ball. Titty Ball. He wasn't your average spade. Cause this dude was on the basketball team, and he could fight you real good. Him sped? <laughs> yeah, special education. You all had a, sh- a short nickname for them. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! They <laughs> call him Sped. I was like, no. <laughs> Did you all that's was that common in your school? Yeah, it's, hey, that's Speds. Everybody called him that. We first of all, my high school, we didn't have a special ed. They had one. They didn't. They didn't all the bell, whenever the bell rang, they didn't move. They stayed in their seat <laughs> because they, they, they were in the same they class knew. all day. They're in the same class all day. What if? Okay, this is what if you accidentally. Got put in that class. Like, what if? What you mean? Titty ball. No, no. A lot of people. Put, a lot of people a lot he of people was a behavior do. disorder. He yes. wasn't slow. I've heard people tell me that that they didn't test well, especially black boys, and they they were put in special ed. And they well, didn't so feel like thing. I don't, I don't know about that. Titty ball was on the basketball team. Is what I'm trying to tell you. I've never known a sped to play sports. Don't call it's him like sped. It's like the Special Olympics. It's like a regular basketball team, and he was good. Like. But that's a real thing. They that's actually do be person. trying to put yeah. young black kids yeah. in and, and say that they're yeah. too well, hyperactive well, girls, well, and get their ass drugs. And, and I shit. say that because I taught school for one year uh-huh. and I learned that girls, period, um, respond to different things. Girls are more can be auditory listeners. Boys, little boys usually are not. They have to see and they have to like it, they respond you to different tell stimuli. Ass multiple times. Yeah, well, they they, they respond to different stimuli. Okay? Right. So what I learned in doing this this um, this this like study that our that our um, the charter school owner had us do is that little boys respond to like vocal tone and things other than that little girls don't. Little yeah. girls want to please you and they just they want to be the teacher's pet. The boys don't. They just. They're not, they're not motivated by the same thing. Mm. So a lot of times the teacher who is in a class with a lot of kids and overwhelmed, this one is goes to that class because I can't control it. And it's just, he's, you know, so he may not be a special ed. I'm not going to call him a sped, but he may not actually be a special, need special education, but because the classrooms are so big, teachers don't have the, you know, the, the ability to, to teach to random types of learning. They get labeled early. And once you're labeled, you can't get out of that. So once you're labeled yeah. special ed, you're mm-hmm. special ed. It's until like you... the ADHD. That's yeah. that's the stuff Dr. Umar be talking about. And all of them are not ADHD. They just need a good mm-hmm. a good sitting, stern talking to. Or it's just school is dumb and they shouldn't be trapped in a in a desk for all day because everybody doesn't learn the same way. Everybody doesn't yeah. learn the same way. But but literally, a teacher who is not like if you're an African American student and your teacher is white and a female, you haven't heard a voice that sounds like that, so you don't. They were showing that little boys don't really connect. They don't understand that. So the teacher's like, because I, I remember my son, he had a white teacher at Montessori, and she would say, Stone, what do you choose to do today? Because at Montessori, kids get to choose what they want to do. It's so, like liberal arts. Yeah, so Stone would choose to swing every day for the entire first quarter of school. So I come to parent-teacher conference, and the lady's like, well, so we give them choices, and we try to encourage them to pick math, or but Stone chooses to swing. I looked Stone in the swing eye. Swing like kick his feet swing? Swing on the swing. He'd have been in a spare class at a regular he school. Didn't, no, well, yeah, but they just... And he's, <laughs> they just let him do whatever he wanted. So he, because, no, he, I get you know, it. so I was, I looked at him and I said, listen to me. And he automatically, his eyes got big and he knew that swinging was wrong. It worked though. He's, he's a genius. He's smart. Like, what, what are you talking about? What? Why, why would you even give him that option? That's, that's my point. Like, <laughs> he's a child. Why would you give him that option? But the option? other kids chose to do work. Stone, and Stone has been a gifted student, but from that, Fuck but those still. Kids. He, right. to swing. He said, I choose. You know, but she said, with, uh, with the big. I choose to swing. Like he came in every day and they were just, and she said, we were hoping that he'll make a different choice. He did not ever until I told like him, if was, you do that one more time, maybe I hear he didn't need teacher, to know. Like it worked, right? He's a smart kid. But the point is, you cannot. So a teacher like saying, it was Stone. Day. Like, I choose. Yeah. 
<laughs> Swing. Every time. Every time. So when I taught that first year, I met this little boy named Malcolm. I would, the other teacher, Malcolm, when you sit down, when I started, Malcolm. And I just look at him. He hears the voice and he recognizes that. Probably doesn't sound See. just like his mom, but it's closer. And he responds. But if I, if another teacher probably would have put Malcolm in the special ed class. That's, but that's the power that black mothers have. You, yeah. There is a tone in your There's voice. A tone there is look. a look in your eye. Yeah. That there, there is a feeling in your presence mm-hmm. that I remember black my children respond to differently. Than yeah, Stone, that's the point. Yeah, what do you choose today? It, that wouldn't even be yeah, it been called, a totally different conversation. Called, yeah. Fear, and Stone, sit your and little ass not, down. Yeah. See, it's called fear, and that's not good for the, uh, the production it is good. development of a child. It is no, good. it's not. It is good. It is not because he does not have a child abuse. I don't send him. I was not paying five hundred twenty-five dollars a week for him to swing. Okay. I needed him to learn, okay? <laughs> no. That was ridiculous. Well, I, Foolishness. I taught, you know, I taught too. I taught one year. I mean, I did I did the music program after school for eight years. But right. I taught- But they were actually, older. It, well, high school. Yeah, see, I have But I taught writers. one year high school actual music technology because Ooh. they thought that my curriculum was so good at that. Right. But this is what I ended up having to do. I just had to Joan, the, the, the funniest guy in class. And by, I don't know where, where you're listening to this show. Joan is like ribbon or the dozens. Jokes. Yeah, jokes, whatever. Okay. So the, the guy who came in every day, who was the most disruptive, mm-hmm. I just had to talk about his clothes or something for about oh my God. five or 10 minutes. And, and you said er- that the fear for the parents no, no, no. wasn't right? Everybody starts laughing and it's like, mm-hmm. oh, he's cool. Everybody's cool. And okay, he once he starts laughing at himself, now we can have class and he's mm-hmm. cool. Did you scar him? Were you bullying him? Perhaps. You were bullying Maybe him. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little good bit. Good job. That is not That's a good better than sending him to the sped class though. He wasn't getting oh. a, he was like, he's the kind of kid who come in with an iPod to my, yeah, I just stole this from somebody. Oh. But he's serious. Oh. He just like took it from Somebody. Oh so how do you how do you yeah. com- how do you combat that as a teacher? I would just send them. I don't out. know if you know our teachers are are. Com- it's like it's yeah, like the, overwhelmed. It's like Chicago <laughs> against the police. <laughs> That's how the kids are wow. in schools to teachers. The yeah, teachers are completely unarmed. And see, I could never teach those older kids. They they're right. annoying to me. So I had first graders that have no idea. Of what's right or wrong, like but they want a mom. They do, so like that. Make they're they so do. sweet. I just no, but I if they're broke kids, them. they really want a mom. They like, all did. Can I borrow some money? Like I had one little girl that would come and say, uh, "Miss Crystal, there, um, I couldn't do my homework because our electricity is. T- we don't have any lights at home." And I would say, "Okay, well, we don't talk about personal issues at school." You. Call Miss Crystal to the side if you want to tell her something like that. But you would hear my mom got drunk last night and I couldn't do my homework. And I said, okay, we don't we don't say that out loud. That's something that you tell. See, that's the difference. So I then w- she would see. say, my mom got drunk last night. <laughs> <laughs> but the she fact was that, it, was, it was not funny, but it was funny. The fact that they even felt comfortable enough to come to you and yeah. say those things. They're I never going to say babies. that things to the white teacher. Right. I love They're not. Babies. Well, I, what I would have yeah. done in that situation is the next time that guy came in, I said, hey, you better sit down and get some of this computer time. Because you know you ain't got no lights at home. That's how I would have played that. And you everybody obviously were not supposed to teach first grade. Are That's you kidding? Not for you. Are no. you kidding? Now those kids have been so strong and together mm-hmm. by the time they, they got done. They would have cried. She'd have been drinking with her mom. The first quarter would... while Stone was swinging, they'd have been crying. But then after that, they'd have been so strong and, and complete human beings. Builds them up. And you know, I, I actually I approve of that method. You know why? I do not. Because. Further First on graders in their are development, babies. They're babies. Maybe so, but they further on in their development, I think about college. And a lot of people's freshman year of college, they flunk out. And they don't flunk out because they're dumb. I think people actually OD on freedom. They right, do. it's their first time away right. from home, and no one's telling them to wake up. Right. No one's telling them to do their work, so on and so forth. Right, and so they have all this freedom, and they just choose to swing. Except yeah. this time, there's real consequences. Yeah. They do, but I I didn't. I I went to I had seven thirty classes when I went to. I had the did you have early, all seven thirty classes? Did you I, like, yeah, I was done by twelve lame. every day. That didn't happen the second semester for me. <laughs> that early morning class, I get it out the way. No, nah, <laughs> <laughs> the very next time we had registration, <laughs> like nope. What time did your classes start? The Man, I had my my junk. My schedule was crazy. It was like afternoon. <laughs> I, I had Friday off every time. I make sure I didn't ever. <laughs> right. Did you ever have a Friday I did, class? I had Friday. I off did too. that one semester. I scheduled all my. 
classes on Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> no, you all my all classes day. all semester. All day. I had all Tuesday. Monday, all Wednesday, all Friday. No, I wasn't that bold. That's crazy. Oh my God, that was the worst decision I could. Yeah. Have. How did you even? Because you were in in class all day Tuesday and all day. Because those classes are longer anyway because they're yeah. twice a week. And right. most of it's lecture. Yeah. Right. Ugh. Yeah, that was the worst decision. I no, could've I was made. done before twelve every day, and then I had like one one math class I had to have in the evening, which I hated because I would go and take a nap. At, at, and then be up at one and have nothing else to do for the rest of the day. I just, you know, mm, no. I couldn't exist. And that you way. know what makes it so bad? The next semester, I, I scheduled twenty one hours, so mm. I had an overload. I had fucking dean's list that semester. Yeah, but sometimes some people. Respond, I was busy. I had more I to do. I was better more when on I'm, my when shit. When I'm busy, if I only had a few classes, I would. I had to really. I'm the type of person that you have to give a lot to. And then I shine. But if I have a little bit, I'll just kind of right. trick You're it You're like, oh, this ain't shit. I, yeah. just, I already do it. Yeah. Wait till the last minute, whole nine. So don't bully. I, you sh- I'm glad you're not there bullying students, okay? I think you should teach more often. <laughs> I think so, too. Now I can just bully our listeners. They need you. You do. You do. You guys it's, definitely bully me. I'm sick of I, it. I think our listeners whoa, 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 are sick of here. It. There's some edutainment Kevin, in here. She, I'm sick she of snuck it in. You didn't hear what she said. We bully her. She's trying to get you the sympathy vote. Yeah, no, toughen up. I am tough. Tough titty. Speaking of tough, we actually do have some criticism. Really? From our listeners. Oh, uh, yeah, we do have some comments. Yes. Uh-oh. On the last show? No, uh, well, I don't know if it's the last show or not. Kevin said that we have comments, though, on YouTube. We need to begin. We need to yeah, be talking to our we people. we have some comments. Is it bad? Did we do... do are they upset with Be Honest? Um, <laughs> as always. Actually, you know what? Let me go to this page. Because, yes, on episode 36, Nas Nabs Nabs Girl. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like those. Those comments were so short. Okay. I wish it kind of went into <laughs> more detail. What did they detail. say? I mean, Wall, Wally Paul said masters can mean aficionado. Okay, so no, that's about the Dutch masters. So okay. how do you feel about that? Whoop de doo. You don't you're not giving any credence to that? Efficient like what is that? Well he's saying that it might not have been a, a, a it Dutch might have been slave owners. Yeah, it might not have been slave owners. Yo, it was fucking slave owners. You okay. just was, want it to be because it, it fits was, your whole tep narrative. No, I, I am connecting the dots here. I am connecting the dots. However, their Dutch Master's own website said the Dutch Golden Age was during, what, 16th, 17th century? But that doesn't mean for certain. And this was Dutch trade. What is his name? The Dutch were heavily involved in slavery. What is his name? Wally Paul. Okay, Wally Paul, we appreciate your comment. I guess he commented on me as well, because he also said seahorses are not people. Which... Okay. They don't have to be people. I don't think that was a a preface. But What else we got? And then... I, I, and see, I, I, I didn't even understand. Uh, Joel Joseph said, sexual addiction, gangster tradition. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like one of Be Honest friends. What? Yeah. That doesn't even make any sense. I make a lot of sense. Basically, he says that sexual addiction is what gangsters do. But you know what? Okay, so, uh, and Wally Paul, he he clearly started going through, because on YouTube, like, you can see all of our past episodes, Right. right. So he went back to Beer Thirst Matters. Oh, That's wow. the first one, right? Yeah, yeah. He went back there and he said, we men have to suppress our thirstiness. Oh, Yet, yeah, I saw that. After a period, women hit the wall. Men are aging better nowadays. Are they? I do I don't polygamy, see it. not that, not lasting. I don't really see men aging better. But they age, men age far better than women. I don't We're agree. not getting stressed out like y'all. Are you kidding me? Men get way more stressed out and they don't get it off their chest. Women just cry and we get over it. You guys keep it inside and die from heart attacks and strokes. No, we don't. We, yes. say, Fuck it. we die younger. You die younger. Unless we're married. Then you guys die like younger. <laughs> That's true because we're just trying to get the hell out. <laughs> trying to get the hell out. He gets on our nerves. Um, yeah, no, guys do. And, and you should suppress your thirst, but men are unable to. Because well, they, no, read that, what he said about thirst. Well, that's not what he said. Chris. He said yeah. men have to suppress their thirst. He says, we men have to suppress our thirstiness. Right. Yet, after a period, women hit the wall. Men are aging better nowadays. Mm. I do polygamy. Please. Not that. Please not send lasting. those pictures of men aging better, because I would love to see those. I mean, I'm aging, I'm aging pretty well. Kevin, are you aging pretty well? I think I'm doing a good job. Maybe you guys I think are I'm doing a bang-up up job. Yeah. Maybe you guys are the only ones. It's not happening. Okay. Okay. And here's his okay. other other comment here. He said, the bread has made a strong comeback. The beard. 
<laughs> yeah, well, he said bread. Well, I'm guessing. Well, but we know what he means. Probably beard. Okay, yes. <laughs> All right. So the beard bread. has made a strong comeback. Three wives is enough, but we would have to be married and no bisexuality amongst the women. That's just they selfish. They would have to... I don't interrupt in the comment. They would have to have their own homes. Sounds cultish. That is not um, polygamy. That's whack. Well, that that show Big Love when HBO they yeah. all had they had different houses. Did they? Mm-hmm. I watched the sister. They were all wives, next door to each other, and they're all in. Because to me, the only thing that makes it attractive is the fact that I can get some extra help with these bills and with these kids and with the housework. These bills and these kids. That sounds. That's the only. That I mean, doesn't sound attractive at all. It doesn't sound attractive. You need to at make that. Be, you need to paint that picture a little bit. I don't think it is attractive. But I'm saying I need help with these bills and these kids. If there is anything attractive about it, it's the fact that there's sharing of the load. There's vagina for you though. I don't. I don't know what he's talking about. The bisexuality thing is out. That's I totally want, in. I don't like vagina. Come on, you don't what? hate it. You don't hate vagina. I don't like it. I have it, one of my own. Yeah, but you. I don't need an extra. Everybody one. wants more vagina. Like that's no, it, they don't. Come on, that's not but when, the table, when though, you right? said even women would have sex with Rihanna. You didn't. You were just like, oh, well, I mean, perhaps. I mean, that, but that's that wasn't realistic. That's just a. That's but just would something you have that, sex with Rihanna? No, I mean, I can tell that she's a very attractive woman. Is there I'm a not woman? Like you guys are like, I can't woman, tell. Is there a woman you would have sex with? No, there's no woman you're gay for. No, I, there's there's women that I think are very attractive. Like I think. Um, that I may have like a girl crush. Like I like think who? she's really attractive, like but who? that doesn't mean I want to like have like actual sex with her. Like who? Well, it wouldn't be actual sex because it's two Niecy women. Niecy Nash. I think Niecy, Niecy Nash? Nash is kind of a girl So crush. you'd be gay for her? What does gay mean? Like, do I think she's really attractive? Do, yes. you, do you walk up to other women and fondle them? No, I don't. Lots of women do that. I You're missing think out. They do. I think women are all about fondling. I've never, squeeze well, each other's no, I have, I have had someone and, fondle me before. You I can, you can do it without ridicule. You should do it. Just see I what don't it's like. I do it. Just see what it's like. I don't need to touch it. I already know. Okay, so bisexuality should not be off the table when it comes to the women and the sister wife. Well, situation. they definitely need to live together because, again, help with these kids and these bills and the housework. If I only have to wash dishes like once out of every three days, awesome. You probably think it that does the, sound kind of sambo. It's it, these kids, right. these bills. She's thinking the realism in what right. she's saying makes it like, it's, oh, she's real. Chris are keeping it real. Nobody is keeping it real. Nobody's That's the only thing that could be that. attractive about that. What else would be attractive? The fact that you all, you have someone in that you can go shopping with. Hopefully, he has enough to send you all shopping. And the fact that there's additional support. Not it's it's, it's on weird, me. like how you like transition seamlessly between like a traditional right. uh, relationship and like some new age forward thinking bullshit. That's not a tr- everything to me was very traditional. A man should always uh, send his woman shopping. Yeah, but he's not gonna be able to afford this. The whole point is all of everybody coming together is the group economics of it as well. So oh, no, we you- don't, I reject that. I think that this is See? only for men that are very, very no. financially sound. That set. makes no sense. He doesn't need a, He doesn't need a sister wife if he's financially sound. Yes, it is. If, he, if he's financially sound, he has the he's ability just getting to pussy do it. One, he's just getting extra pussy. One woman is a bill. He can so, afford it. So if he has a lot of missing, money, he can afford the, to have more uh, than one You are woman. missing the entire fucking point of all of this, Crystal. I don't think I am. If the guy is financially people, sound, he just I, cheats on you. He I gets you and he gets her and y'all live across town. I know people in this situation and they are very financially affluent and they can afford, the women don't work and they can afford and to treat them how he's they just want. getting extra pussy that lives in the house. That's all of that course. is. Of course, and it's she has a new gr- best friend and someone to go shopping right. with. But that's not what group economics is. I think it is. That's group economics to me. That means all y'all came up. Y'all got Prince Harried. That's all that is. Well, I don't see any other reason why you'd be okay to share. Okay. Why else would it be, it'd be okay to share unless I'm getting a lot of really cool designer clothes from it? Wow. Okay, well, hey. I you mean, see what I'm saying? You see how it just goes Ooh. Somebody gotta help With these kids And these motherfucking bills This motherfucking car note this, <laughs> And you better not bring home Nothing to penicillin Can't motherfucking cure So we can go shopping It's like you reduce It's, it's like you reduce women <laughs> And like their entire happiness It's to your just fault Materialism Okay first of all I didn't all, go there with it But okay um, what woman doesn't want to go shopping? That is ridiculous. That is foolishness and folly to think that women don't want to go shopping. I'm, I can hear feminism like grumbling right now. Really? Like, yes. They're lying. Okay, they're lying. White women are upset with you right now. No, they're not. No, they're not because those same white women that are chanting in the streets. I bet they have very wealthy husbands that are allowing them to drive their does their their uh you're right, luxury cars. They're, they're probably work, right because while they have exactly. very wealthy husbands, they're also telling you to leave yours. But you know that's different. Well, do we have wealthy husbands? Who is we? Black women. No, because okay, exactly. So what are we talking about here? 
Mm-hmm. But, but you're you're asking something that doesn't exist, though. You want? I mean, he. I, I was responding to him. He okay. said that, that white woman. Yeah, he did kind of leave point. our wealthy. Like, where, who who is that? Who he is that besides? You, so. mm-hmm. I mean, there's a few of them, but they're athletes or rappers, and other than that, the rest of us are working. Mm-hmm. Or, no, I or do boomers. Know some, I do boomers know, got money. I do know some guys that have a lot of money, and the, usually those guys are not hung up about. They're like, oh yeah, of course you can go shopping. It's baby, like baby deal. boomers got money, and their kids probably have a little money. Everybody else is broke as shit. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying. I, I think that if you you should be able to afford that lifestyle. If you have enough money that can afford you two wives and you can afford them, then good, God bless that you. That doesn't make any sense, Chris. I think it does. That's just that's just backwards. That's that's. I've seen it working. It's working beautifully. Of course, it will work, but that doesn't that doesn't. You're not helping anything. You're I just don't think living. it works when they're when the when I when the women have to not only do housework and take care of kids, but they also have to work and tell chip me in. you didn't love me when you thought I was a goat herder. <laughs> when I was a goat herder. <laughs> right, nah, that's not how it works. But I feel you. Hey. But what does that have to do with polygamy, ambitious. though? Oh, he said that. Okay, Willie, what's his name? That that doesn't make any sense. No, it was Wally. 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 Let me go back. Wally Wall. Um, I don't believe in it being a group economics. Yeah, Wally thing. Paul. Whack. Thank you for your comments, Wally. Yeah. That's all we got. Polygamy is for the uh, extremely affluent. No, it's not. I mean, I can I can go back to some other. Since Anything that, I, I guess I guess what I'm looking for is things that we need to comment on. Like they said a comment that we need to actually is there, respond yeah, and to. Yeah, especially like the last few. I mean, because people have been commenting on a number of shows um, and in some of the <sighs> clips as well. So, you know, but I'm saying, okay. That. Well, we'll just we'll, we'll, you know we'll, what? we'll have it more Pay prepared. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have it more prepared. A little rough here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's. Is me, uh, many me, people. argue me argue with me on that? Polygamy is only for men who are very very affluent. Uh, I don't agree, but I mean, hey. Otherwise, just you can afford y'all one. All, you get y'all one. all fucking with the same dudes anyway. Well, if that was you, the might case, as well just cut the stress out. That's not true. That's not true. There are a lot of women with broke guys. Exactly. So we're not all. They're not all the same ones. The same broke. Yes. Really. The same. I don't know anything guy. about that. Y'all not, y'all not mixing it up. It's not like y'all, y'all messing think, with the nerdy bro guy all of a sudden. No, of dateable men. With- it's a very small pool of dateable men. I'm, I can't help that. And I don't know a lot of, I don't think that a lot of women are clamoring around a broke guy. And if they are, he must be, you know, doing something that is amazing at night. And if that's the case, they're not trying to make him their husband. They're just enjoying his services. I'm confused. Enjoy I'm not. Service. I'm not confused at all. I just don't understand why women would all be trying to date the same broke guy. That's weird. Because that's what y'all do. Women love. To, women love to fit in. Women love to do things in groups. Women like y'all <laughs> all clamor around. Yes, every school in the country has like one guy that like all the girls love. Because he's attractive. It's always been that way. Because he's attractive. Yeah. We meanwhile, like there attractive. are other eligible bachelors We're not that are within reach. Because this is the thing, and y'all ignore them because we don't like them. This is the thing. If it, and then men, <laughs> no, but you said the same broke guy. I guarantee you, the guy that was that that all the girls liked in high school was probably very athletic, was probably very charming, and probably very confident. So those are things that attract women. You know, women are looking for one guy that fits everything. Men can look for like three or four different women to fit different needs. We don't, we're not wired that way. So where you may look at one girl be like, she has some big titties, I like those titties. She got a fat ass, I like that ass. She makes me laugh, I like this. We're just looking for one guy that encompasses all of that. And so, so of guess which one of those is, mm. guess which one of those is possible, which one is not. What? Looking for obviously, one person with everything. Obviously, you guys have a bigger, but it's but women commit to looking for that one ideal person. So it's not. I mean, would you would would a man want a woman that's not attracted to them? Why would you want to be with someone that didn't wasn't attracted to you? That never works. When you try to buy the girl, you get her until the money runs out, and then she leaves. So I don't think you should want people to. You want people to be with who they want to be with. I said a guy asked me this the other day, like, why don't you give some of the other guys a chance? I don't like them, and if I tried to give them a chance, I wouldn't. I would be thinking, you know what? I don't like how he looks, but I'm going to try this anyway. And that's not fair to him, right? Yeah, but you, you, women are notorious for overlooking his looks. As long as he's got money, then exactly. we'll... But she said until they run out. Then as long as he's got money, then it's about how he makes me feel. I don't think she said Ain't that. Ain't that what women say? I don't think that's what she just said. What she just said was she's willing to, to overlook things, and then when the money runs out, mm-hmm. she leaves, which is honest. And it happens all the time. I'm just being honest. I don't think there's an answer for that, Kevin. I don't, I don't want somebody to be with somebody who doesn't—they're not attracted to either. I, but mm-hmm. men don't ever get women that they're not attracted yes, to. Yes, we do. Yeah, we do. 
On what on what occasion? Yeah, we do. Sometimes we get them pregnant. Oh damn! A lot of a lot of niggas' baby mamas is, is are women that they just like shit. Oh my god! Fuck. Damn. That's true. That's true. <laughs> He oh, ain't had nothing for that one. Huh? He just, no. I mean, I don't I think know. I don't think that women should be. I think if a man, and this is going to be a controversial thing to say, but I think that if you if you just want a baby, that's one thing. But if you get pregnant by a guy that does not like you, and from the jump he's like, "Oh man, I don't want you pregnant," like I, I like he's upset. Like I don't understand why you would have a baby for someone that's already. Unless you just want to have a child and you're like, you know what? I know he's not going to be involved. But to go ahead and have the baby when you know he doesn't want the baby with you and then get mad when he doesn't do what you want him to do, I think that's asinine. Because if a man, because men get really angry when they have a baby with someone they don't like. It, they become yeah, the worst right. person in the world. Because now I'm tied to you for but the you, rest you of my life. But you could have easily wore a condom and not even had that issue. Like, I don't feel any sympathy mm-hmm. for the man because... It's not my fault that you laid down and didn't wear a condom. Like, that's your dumbass fault. Mm. And now you're angry. A lot of athletes, they get angry like, oh, she's pregnant. I don't want to have a baby. Like, even Drake saying, now I, I can't go half with a hoe. Yes, you can because you had sex with her without a condom. I would like to offer that if you wear a condom, you're not really having sex. But, you know, that's just me. <laughs> you did you did say that before. And I, I just think yeah. that every sexual education class that anyone's ever had just... Totally goes against what you just said. I don't care. I'm just glad both of my baby mamas aren't busted. Well, I, who's sleeping with busted people anyway? Again, Lots that's your people. fault. What? But that's people. your fault for doing man, it. Ugly people, man. I'm telling you like this. But that's a that's yeah. a man's fault. You don't get mad at a woman because you talked her out of her drawers and you don't like the way she looks. What kind of idiot talked are you? Talked her out of her drawers, man. Some women with low, especially women with low self esteem, they be the main ones throwing it. Yes, Jesus help us because they know they ain't got shit else to offer. Mm-hmm. That's why they be mad when a nigga don't take it. If you have man, women cannot handle rejection. You think men can't handle rejection? It's Freaky Friday, yo. It is Kevin Freaky is Friday. Honest. It is Freaky Friday. <laughs> hey, it is Freaky Friday. Hey, it's the truth. <laughs> Don't get mad at me, Don't man. Stop. I'm just Keep a messenger. Going. But I'm just saying. Okay, so if I mean, if that's the if the low self esteem, why are you all sleeping with them then? What? Clearly, there's instant gratification. But that's on if you. She knows it's not she so instant. If, if I mean, she knows, <laughs> if she knows she ain't got shit else to offer, How she gonna slob that? you up real quick. Oh. You're gonna be able all that. Yes. Crystal, so you're not you're telling me you don't have a, a body in your history that was not a, a very attractive body, but, I, he, but he laid it down. I have a lot of I told you, a I have dated bodies. guys that were not and say that that were not attractive because I was trying to not be superficial no, no, no. and go for the inside. So yeah, I've I've had I'm sp- speaking specifically about the somebody sex who was really good. laid it down, but they weren't they weren't all what it was cracked up to be when it came to looks. Mm-hmm. What's the difference in what he's saying? That that happens all the time. But I actually was liking them. I was I was actually trying to build a relationship with them and just ignoring the fact that I wasn't initially from the do, jump. Do you to ever them. have you ever had casual sex? No. Okay. It's always with the intent. It's it it in it now. I may realize soon after that I don't like the person. And you do you keep having sex? Is that with because them? of is that because of a poor performance? No, not all the time. Bad sex. I, I actually have had great sex with someone, but because we didn't really connect, I stopped talking to them. And then I've had horrible sex with someone that I really like a lot, and I kept going back. And they're thinking, oh, it has to be good because she keeps coming back, and it's really not. I just like them. Did you let them know it wasn't good? No, I didn't. Mm. Guys don't respond well to that. I mean, you never know. I did one time. I told one guy that I had never had an orgasm with him ever, like after like a year, and then he could, he could no longer get an erection. He was so nervous. He Whoa. just could not. So I, I learned then, he don't ever. Under the pressure? I never told another oh. guy a negative thing about. Did you tell him that way? <laughs> Did you say it like that? I don't remember that? how I Did told him, but like I waited that? until like we sat down. It was like my, my boyfriend. We had been together for a long time, and I just was like, I have to get this off my chest. And he just was like devastated, and he could never perform again. It was horrible. So were you faking? Yeah. Oh, I'm very good wow. at that. You're I'm very great. good wow. at that? Yeah. What woman is not great at faking? Oh, my God. <sighs> Oh yeah, you 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 took something off his self esteem right there. Well, I, I've never told another guy that. I've never told another guy. So from now on, whenever it's horrible, I just I just act like it's Do you not. You still fake? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, you, you didn't learn. <laughs> you want to think about it for a second? You right. Hesitate at all. 
That's You're right. right. Stop I, faking. I can't. That's what's wrong. It's a part, we, we all have to. You don't have no, to. No, you don't some other have girls to fake. Here, women have to fake it. You don't have to. Do you know how few times women have orgasms? No, listen to what I'm saying, though. But you're not helping the guys do better. It's 2018. I thought women weren't faking orgasms anymore. You're just some going Some aren't. Gay. But, you know, if you like the guy, you got to fake. Because he, he, it makes him feel good about himself. And that's part of a woman. Part of getting in a man's head is making him feel good about himself. So you have to do that. Part of getting in a man's head. Wow. You see, this is all. It's so manipulative. <laughs> oh, should, my God. I think we Crystal, should make, I didn't know this about you. We should just stop talking sometimes. Let, let her use her words. <laughs> because there's so much. You know how she says we bully her and we pick on her? Right. When we let her just go, <laughs> she does it to herself. Like, part of getting into a man's head. I don't understand why that's head, bad. That, okay, so what do you all do to get in a woman's head? We don't. I'm you're a, a f- straight shooter. You're such right. a liar. I don't manipulate. What the hell are oh you talking God, about? I'm terrible. Like, I can't fake it. I yeah. can't fake it. If I don't like a woman, I, fake I don't once. give a fuck. Oh, I thought you meant orgasm. <laughs> I, faked, I faked an orgasm once. Why did you fake it? Because it smelled like cheese. Oh, my God. It's a good reason. Oh. Luckily, that's a good reason. Luckily, I, I did not see that coming. Luckily, it was one of the times that I was wearing a condom in my life, so I was able to <laughs> actually fake it. Had I not been yeah, wearing that condom, like, I don't think guys can. Because like, how could you fake that? No, I faked it. It was it was brilliant. I I, did, I get I should you get an award. High five. No, no, because I'm, I'm not. I, it, <laughs> I'm not giving you five for that because it it was an extreme five situation. Tonight. It smelled like um, what's those corn chip Fritos? How, Fritos and toes. How long were you in? Before you it, smelled it got it. warmed up. It's when I warmed oh. it up, I had to warm up the cheese smell <laughs> like microwave. Like. I, I, like I, I understand why women like, like hurry up and wash real quick. Ooh. Yeah, that's and I those never, of you that do, well, we appreciate it. I never spoke on behalf to her of again. all men. You never spoke to her. I again? I never spoke to her again. Oh my oh, god! No. I took her home. She and knew. She, she knew. Of course, she knew. She had to. She had to smell that. We were both there at the same time, right? And I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping that it wasn't something that normally happens. I, I'm hoping that was just like a one off, but it was just. I also broke up with a girl one time because her breast smelled like nickels. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How does a nickel smell? I can't like it's been in somebody's pocket. <laughs> I just can't, there's no better way for me to ex- describe what our breath smells like. Nickel smell like the under of a couch cushion. I, it was that like doesn't metal. Give me a visual. Measurable? Mm, it metal. metal. Yeah. Was she? Did she have some type of illness? I don't. I don't know. I never. I broke up with her. I just broke up with her. Oh and I God. rode the bus to see her too. And it was a long ride. Oh damn. <laughs> so I, I had to walk back <laughs> to the bus, mad as hell. Oh man. And think, and with, think, with, those with metal the good old mouth. days. Yeah, that was a good idea. Metal in my mouth. It tastes like it was metal in my the whole ride home. Like, man, there's no like little side store I can get a drink or something. You got a mouthful of pennies. I did. I have a bad story about that. I my first kiss was horrible, and I'm gonna tell. I'll never. I can. I can. I'm there like right now. And my I'm not gonna say the guy's name because I don't want to hurt his feelings. Can can I ask? Can I ask a question before you go, Kevin? Do you remember your first kiss? I don't. First kiss. Yeah, but I was like... See, he remembers. Don't try. No, but I was like, like dumb 20. young, though. I was like <laughs> nine, eight. Okay, my a bad. French kiss? Who no. French kiss is at no, eight? I'm That's what I'm talking kiss. about. I'm, I'm talking about a real tongue Got kiss. Got you. Let's hear All right, so... Body number one. Let's hear it. No, we didn't, we didn't have... We didn't, patient we, zero. We did not have sex, so there's not a body. Okay. But You got to keep notes. We can actually figure this shit out. We are. We are, yeah. yeah. too. So, okay. We got so, at least... At least I say at least eight from the story she's been telling. No, you, <laughs> We're at no, at least don't. eight. No, you don't. So, okay. Our our high school had, like, this prefab area in the back, right? Mm. This These buildings. So, I'm nervous, you know, because I've been anticipating the first kiss, trying to figure out how this is going to be. So, the guy... I guess it was during lunchtime. I guess he had been snacking on a whole pack of like Skittles, right? So better than Fritos. Skittles in your mouth, the sugar creates additional saliva. Like it's and it's very sweet. Like his tongue probably had the sh- coating of the candy on it. Right. So when yeah, he that's, that's, that's actually a good that's, thing. That's their slogan. That's actually taste a good thing, ladies. If you're giving head, so eat some Skittles. Go ahead. No, I don't want my dick out so of stripes. So when I, I when care. he went in to kiss me with the tongue that was coated, it was it was like oh, spit and someone else's chewed up candy, and I was <laughs> someone else. I saw else's. my girlfriend's like I had my first kiss, but it just all it consists is like is skittle juice. It it created like a skittle juice, and it was disgusting. I can still taste it right now. It was horrible. Like that's you can all, taste it now. Yeah, because it was just so dramatic. Because I was looking forward to the first kiss, and it was like a thick. 
saliva, all the types of Skittles, like the red, blue, all, all the flavors. Oh, it's disgusting. Wow. It's Isn't everyone's first experience like terrible? Sexual or kiss? Both. Sexual mine was pretty bad. But why would they, why would other people have a bad kiss? I thought that was just me with I don't even Skittles. remember my first kiss. That's, come on, like fourth grade or something. I didn't eat Skittles something. for years. You said high school? Yeah. You waited to high school to kiss somebody? I think mine was in like fourth grade. A French kiss. Yeah. Tongue. Yeah. <laughs> my first experience I, was terrible. Why? It really was. You what said happened? you were nine? Was no, you, like sexually. But what'd you do? Did you, did you mess it up? It, no, I just didn't know what I was doing. Did she know what she was doing? You feel yes. like you know now? Oh. <laughs> she knew what she was doing. Oh, yeah. He tried you. <laughs> he tried you. I, I just wanted I to know tried you. Was there any growth? I That's definitely got my stroke back. You know, I, I, I definitely, you know, got, got my land legs, if you know what I mean. Okay. Uh, the fact that you but, said that uh, makes us think yeah. maybe you don't. <laughs> you said my land. Nigga, stop. That is not- <laughs> stop it. <laughs> so, it, yeah, how'd yeah. you blow it the first time? It was um, your fault. And no, it- I just didn't know what I was doing. So, she was leading she you down knew, the way. She was, yes, okay. She knew what she was doing. She had already, one, she had already had a child. Oh, you, She already oh. had an apartment. Oh. Like, how old were you? So you 17. were just okay, oh, okay. So you were like you. That's that's you had the the stereotypical older woman that showed you. Yeah, molested. You to, nah, how old was she, she was just. We were like close in age. She just she went. She to was school advanced. With me. <laughs> she was advanced. Yeah, <laughs> she yeah. had two kids already. You said one. I think she at least had one. Okay, I don't know about two. But and she put it on you. Was, was at least good. Was at least try she to be good. Yeah, she Could told me. Bad. She told me. Oh my god! I hope she don't hate me for this. She told me <laughs> that she um, had. Aspirations of being a stripper, and she had worked out this little dance routine. <laughs> and so, she yeah, my first you. time I got a lap dance first, and I was why like, Why was it bad? Hmm? What, why was it bad? You said because I didn't experience. know what I was doing, man. I was gone but no in like 12 does. seconds. No guy does, yeah. I, I, I mine was just bad because the chick was ugly, it's ugly. But I knew it was just a practice session, so I was like, oh I set it up that way. Her name was Candy. Of oh my all God! Names. You don't do that to her. What if she's? What if? She, you know what I mean? Who the fuck is gonna research? Candy? Now there are gonna be people one day when this show blows up is really highly popular. They're gonna do some type of trigonometry to figure out what your body count is. You know that's gonna happen. But whatever. There's no way they can find Candy. But Candy was a, a monster, and um, <laughs> and I was so nervous from you know what I'm saying from 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 whatever it was. Right. So that early that year, I just had to, you know, get it out your system. I had to get the the cotton, the cotton, whatever that is. The, the you know, when you open the medicine bottle and the cotton yes. at the top. I had yes. to get that cotton out the way. Okay. So, but how you're not answering? How did you did you did you try to romance her? Did you try to tell really. her? That, it was kind of like you know what you know what it is. She know what it is. I don't yeah, think I know she what, knew it what it is. Was. But the only problem was this is this was what was the real problem. She didn't know she was getting the cotton out. This <laughs> she <laughs> this, did it. Don't don't try that. I don't think it was her cotton was getting out. <laughs> But I don't know. But she was like a just a complete, you know what I'm saying, like typical hood chick. So it was like no expectations. She didn't, you know what I'm saying? She it was like, I don't plan on being anything anyway. So oh my God. let's just Put, have putting out was the expectation. Oh my God. Right. But look though, so what what killed it was probably about two weeks later, three weeks later, I saw her at school and she had like extra lipstick on. <laughs> the reason why is because she was covering up like a, a bump, like a, a, a bump bump. fever, <laughs> fever oh. blister or something. So it was like it's like everything. She had like the herbs. My life flashed before my eyes. Oh. I mean, I used a condom back then because I was, I didn't know any better. I thought you were supposed to. You, you use condoms. You're a liar. I thought you were supposed to use condoms back then, you so are. I used a condom. Mm. Mm. So I mean, really, I didn't lose my virginity then. Honestly, yes, you did. Technically, <laughs> technically, I didn't because I didn't touch. So pussy. okay, so were you disgusted by her looks while you yes. were doing it? <laughs> What's the cheapest perfume that girls wore back in the day? I don't know. She was wearing that. <laughs> what does that have to do it with? It smelled like Kool-Aid. <laughs> she smelled like Kool-Aid well, and so pickle juice. Pick Kool-Aid, pickle, pickle juice, and whatever what that perfume so is. What made her so attractive? What made her so unattractive? unattractive? Yeah. She was just a, she was as regularly like you know how they're cute regular girls. Okay. So like you know every woman isn't beautiful. Right. Some women are regular, but they're cute. Regular. You have shared that with us when I said every woman is beautiful. You, you they're not. Yeah. No, not even close. <laughs> but there's a regular cute. You know what I'm talking about? Right. She yeah. was regular ugly. So like it was uh, right. It was it was right there in the middle. But it was there was nothing. I like, oh she had pretty eyes. No, no pretty eyes. That's, she had, that's like ashy on a Wednesday. 
Right, she had nice hair. No, she didn't have nice you. hair. Yeah, she wasn't fine. No, she wasn't. She wasn't. So how did you how did you right. pick her? How did she that become was, the target of? She her? was she walking was cool. slower than everybody else. Okay. <laughs> you are such an ass. When I, when I looked at the pack, she separated herself from the pack. She was the she the probably was a fruit. sped. She might have been a sped, and she was just a little off. Uh, guys I have gotten women in special education pregnant. I think that, that might is be horrible. rape though, because that's that's like because those girls, some of those girls are like twenty six in the ninth grade. Yeah. So they there that might that might be right. She wasn't really spent. If just, she's twenty six, then that's rate right the other way. If no, you you if your 16, mind is retarded, if and I'm and when I say retarded, I mean like retarded. Yeah, like, I'm talking about like really retarded. Like, yeah, could, you, you, but you think a sixteen year old could <laughs> could, could <laughs> sexually manipulate a twenty six year old? Yes, if their brain they, if they have arrested development, yes, I do. I do because if they have the yes. if they there's have no the, laws on the books for that. There yes. isn't, but there should. But be. I think there should be because that there there are situations where those a lot of times if someone is especially like down. Syndrome or something like that. There and they want to be accepted by other kids. Period. No, nah, there should never be laws on the books for that. No, no, no. That's the, not the the is, older person you have traded with. Uh, the be older today. person takes the burden. No, no the no. older person mentally. No, because white women will take there. advantage of that. As many white women have slept with young te- with young kids. Mm-mm. First of nah. all, in the hood, there's older women sleeping with young boys every day. I didn't realize that. I moved here and I, I was getting my hair done one day. And every woman in the beauty shop was sleeping with a guy that was like 16. I was like, but they're not legal. They were doing it. They're like in their 30s. A little young guy come by, lay some pipe. I was like, oh my God, this is like Mary Kay Letourneau. Like, but I mean, they were like, like who? Mary who? Mary Kay Letourneau. How old the, the were white these women? Because that's they were like in their that's 30s. That's the opposite. Like when I was in school, all the girls that were like 15 and 16 had mm-hmm. boyfriends that was like 20, yeah. 21. Yeah, I did. I did. Right. So I think I told you guys that when my mother did it was flip like, that women started getting Well, I think women 16 year olds. I I think that bo- that there's all there's most guys have a story about an older woman that they slept with. I was talking to one of my guy friends today and he told me no. about a woman that <laughs> he was talking to the girl, her daughter and then the daughter was gone and she took him home and then she started like touching him and asking him did that make him feel uncomfortable? And then he, I said, did you have sex with her? He was like, no, she had sex with me. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, your friend There's told a me a story that. about, about um, having sex with, when he was in high school with one of his friend's mothers. I don't want to say his name, but yeah. Why? Is this somebody on one of the shows? I don't want to say his name because he's a good friend of yours. But yeah, he's like, that's normal, I think. If he's on one of the shows, everybody already knows his story. I'm not going to say his name. But um, no, there's actually a position for that, for a woman fucking a man. It's called like Amazon or something. I'm not joking. I think I saw that Shout online. out to the Slack room. There's a way. I saw that, yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I saw it online. And I mean, it's not It's not gay because Kevin looked like, what? what do you mean? No. It's like still, it's still the same parts going in the same parts. It's just she is in control. It's weird. Yeah. I don't know if I, I don't know how I feel about that position. Yeah, it sounds awkward. <laughs> how did we get here? Uh, I don't know, but we're here. So... <laughs> Let's talk about something else, right? Yeah, I don't like it. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I feel uncomfortable now. I mean, you need a young dude. To I mean, yeah, it's, hey, down. there you go. You said, okay, so would you date a younger guy? I have dated a younger guy before. How much younger? Just a lot younger. Less, more than 10 years? 11. 11 years? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. How'd that go? Same as the rest of them. I mean, it's pretty <laughs> much the same as anybody else. <laughs> what does that even mean? Like, I'm just saying it wasn't. He wasn't like totally way less mature than guys my age. Like, right. you know, we're all idi- bumbling. It's idiots, all right? pretty much the same thing. Now, I did, you know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she's choosing her words. I am choosing my words, but she's I mean, g- younger guys are. I mean, they're fun. They're fun. Fun. Yeah. Did you did you manipulate his mind? No, he might have manipulated mine. What? what? I know I got high, I got yeah, hung yeah. out there. Mm-hmm. I was like, wait a minute, I thought I was gonna be the one in control, and I wasn't. So why he if, if, script on me. if so many women are are taking advantage of young men sexually? Not taking advantage. No, 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 no. Not taking advantage. The young mm-hmm. men are hitting on us. I taught. I I was a substitute teacher in a high school. The young boys are very mannish, okay? They approach you, they hit on you, they, I mean, they, it's Hell not- Hell yeah, it's a trophy kill. I'm what are you saying, talking so about? No, so women are not taking advantage of those boys. They're they're hunting. You they're like that, black, you like that black giraffe that lady killed. <laughs> oh, that, I'm very upset about that. Why? And I'm also That's upset terrible. about these horses. Wait, 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 wait. Why, why are you so upset about this giraffe? Horses. There you go, you just started it. You, yes, you, you, I want to talk started. about this. I'm pulling it up. There are these Belgian horses that people are using for slaughter 
And I would like to say, and I told one of my uh, friends on Get Instagram. Get the mic. Get the mic. Yeah. My friends on Instagram um, that I am looking for who we need to write to. There's some politicians. She said, Crystal, I've written to several politicians, but they don't really care. These horses, <laughs> it's not funny. These horses are being, and they're beautiful. Like, I'm going to show you guys the picture. These Slaughtered for beautiful, what? For meat. Okay, they're eating it. The, but but look how majestic that animal is for someone to be eating it. Is that a Clydesdale? It's a Belgian. It's a Belgian. Look how beautiful he is. That's a lot of meat, though. That, I am. We looking, have we have people starving on this are. planet. Are you kidding? That is not what they're for. Man, fuck that horse. We got people starving. No, that is not what that's for. They can eat. It's not like missionaries are taking horse meat with them when they go to. <laughs> well, these people are do. They're taking it, and this is in China. But I'm I'm going to find out information if anyone has. You're going to. You think you're going to change China? Is. No, I'm just saying that there needs to be something. Look at look how beautiful. They eat dogs there too. That's, I just think that's so that's so horrible. We have to do something about it. It's not going to happen. They're going to be eating those. I'm going to try because if people are hungry, they should be eating lettuce and fruits and vegetables. Not is that those what you horses. eat? Oh. Is that what you I'm eat? I'm working towards that. What I've do you been, eat now, though? A lot I've of cow, been slacking, lettuce, and fruits. I've been fruits. slacking on my on my red meat. Do you eat a lot of cow and chickens and stuff? I, I'm, I'm not really a really chicken eater. I eat more beef than chicken. But why I, is a I'm cow less to. important than that damn horse? Because a cow is that a cow doesn't look like that. That was oh, so that ugly. was a, a cow's royal, ugly. beautiful animal. What's your favorite red meat? Tube steak. <laughs> I couldn't hold my last hand. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna dignify that. How much that tube steak are you eating these days? I'm not gonna dignify <laughs> that. that, was that one much I'm not gonna dignify it. But if anyone has information, I'm just, no, no, it was worth the shot. I had to. No, I'm still mad because you're saying the reason why you eat a cow is because it's ugly. This is the same problem we have with the, <laughs> the men that you're dealing with too. This what? is you have one gear. What are you talking and it's about? not even a good gear, Crystal. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that you'll eat a, 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 a cow because it's not as attractive as a horse. It is not a regal animal. It is not a, it's not a regal animal. <sighs> and this goes back to how you're dating these It has a life. It's so a how, living what does that have being. To do with guys? Because it's the same thing. It's, it's, it's really the same thing. The, 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 whole, the whole idea you have of who the, the proper guy is and, and what you're willing to do or accept from that guy compared to the guy that's the ugly duckling, it's, to me, it's all the same. I didn't say that. But I said if the, guy, if the guy was, no, if he was very ambitious and successful, then... He's then, that horse, that regal horse in mm -hmm. China? Yes. Right. Somebody doesn't have anything to do with the. See, doesn't have anything to do with his looks. It's the damn Disney movies, man. I'm telling you. In Disney movies teach you to qualify. It doesn't say every man is a prince. It says But the funny thing about this him. is that men are This is funny. I can tell it's going to be funny. It is, it is so funny because men are always... I had a guy tell me, Crystal, you don't give guys a chance, right? The guys that don't look like what you want. Right. But he's not... All those same guys are hitting on the same types of girls. So he's not attractive? The guy who said this? What? I'm not editing this out. The point is, the point is, men want women to open up their. I've had a guy go off on me on a dating site because he said I wouldn't give him a chance, but I'm sure he's only hitting on me because the only thing he saw was my picture. So if he is attracted to me, so I should give him a chance. Why don't I deserve to be attracted to him back? You do. Okay. All I'm saying That's is, can we, we're going to eat that horse meat because we're not eating the horse meat, we, and I'm working very hard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. I honestly think I would much more prefer that animal, the way the meat would be on that animal, than a, a fat ass cow. Well, I, no, I'll take it. I'll take it this direction. I think I would rather eat a horse meat instead. That didn't sound right. I'd rather no, eat horse, horse meat, meat than horse or horse. <laughs> you see, that's why I said it didn't sound right. But I'd rather eat that. Well, the text was wrong. Also, <laughs> than, <laughs> than some, horse than like some meat grown in a lab somewhere. Oh no, some of that artificial. No, shit. No, I'd rather eat the lab meat. I'm, I'm telling you. You said that Memphis you meat were down with mm -hmm. the. That the, is that is the next movement. I can't wait till it gets cheaper. I promise you, that's all I'm gonna eat. <laughs> That would save those horses, them dumbass horses. That would save Why those horses. Why are you calling horses. them dumb? Man, that would save those All horses. All right, when your ass got an ear growing out of your fucking forehead. Why, why would that happen? <laughs> why would that happen? Because it's just growing it's out of lab, radioactive. Man. Why would it be radioactive? Why would it be radioactive? Because be radioactive? that's not, they're, cre they're creating meat with some type of. So you get in a car accident, right? Yes. And this whole the left you side, the eyeball grow out the back of the your whole neck. left side of your face. I said left because of the camera. So the left side for the the, the viewers, mm -hmm. the whole left side of your face and ear gets mangled, right? Okay. They have the ability with cell technology mm -hmm. to recreate very, very, very closely to what you had before. Mm -hmm. You're not doing that either. What are the after effects of that going to be? Nothing. It's it's you don't know that. You don't know that. You don't know what the effects of anything are then until you. I mean, you know, but like certain things have a bigger risk. 
What's the risk? It, Tell me I don't why know, there's it may a risk. not. It, it may not. It may not gel with my. So what you're gonna say is you're gonna keep the mango face. You gonna you gonna keep gonna me, you gonna keep gonna melty face, face on the left side. I probably don't. I don't know if I would want to. I mean, that to me is worse than being gone. I'd rather just be. So gone. you're gonna take the shot on it, right? The what? You're, you're gonna just die? What are you? What are you saying? I don't want to have a mangled face. So you're gonna get the the surgery, right? No, I would just be like, put me out of my misery. Just kill you. Just let me go. Let me go on to glory. I don't want to have a really? mangled face. So you're perfectly good health, except for your face is mangled on the side and your ear is not gone. Not health. It's not good health. So just I'll be kill very you? stressed out. So just kill you. I think I Are you on record? Film. I'm on record. You're going on record saying you'd rather die? I, I, than have a mangled up face? I mean, what type of quality of life is that going to be? Uh, <laughs> what? One that you live to tell about it, perhaps? <laughs> your kids I'm will sorry, never I see would, you again. I would rather be alive. I'm sorry. And I'm going to talk shit, too. What? So Kevin, let me ask I ain't you. Stopping. Let me ask you: Would you rather have the 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 cell technology face and ear, or would you rather keep their mangled face? No, I'll take the mangled face. Ah, uh, I'll, I'll take the mangled you know face. You, when you will turn into a you would turn into a monster. He's already a that monster. That sounds like a sci-fi. Like, that sounds like a really bad like sci-fi saying, movie. Like people that have been in horrible accidents and now they have no eyeball yeah. or you know shit like that. Now they got a glass eye and shit like. What, they would rather just... No, I'm fucking... Man, pop that motherfucker in. Let's roll. Let's go to I'm Fetty Wap, bro. I'm trying but to... I'm, I'm, but that sounds like a sci-fi movie gone wrong. So the guy's no, in an accident. Half of his face comes off, and then he has one put on. Then all of a sudden, the new side starts to... It's it's a it's a sci-fi movie. It is. And then he becomes what this What you're saying is person. ridiculous, though. It, it is a sci-fi movie. It is. I'm taking that cell technology, and if they ever... If Memphis Meats ever decides to come down that price, I'm eating that well, meat. you eat it. You eat it. I'm, I'm working towards veggies and, and fruit. What I'm telling you is they'll have the ability Slowly, but they have the ability to, to take all the negative things that, that come along with red meat and even make but it not jackfruit. Make it like hundred percent lean. That's that's the perfect and mm. no cow got hurt in the whole process. I don't want cows to get hurt, but I really don't want horses to get hurt. I don't want either of them to get hurt, but they're delicious. Horses are not delicious. You have not had horse meat. I guarantee it's delicious. It's not delicious. A human meat is probably delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> probably is. Why wouldn't it be? Kevin, come on, man. Why wouldn't <laughs> it be? Because like your pussy stink. So, <laughs> have if you ever, somebody's pussy stink, have I you ever the smell, meat tastes bad. Have you ever smelled a horse pussy? I guarantee it probably doesn't have a great smell. <laughs> I just, I'm just guessing here. Mm-hmm. Did you know that horses um, squirt? Female horses squirt before Dang. they have sex. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, they do. They, that's how. <laughs> what the. F- Yes. Are you, is that the white side of you it coming is. out there? That's, no. It is. Every time I've seen a bestiality porn, it was always like a Brazilian or something. You've never seen that either. No, no. You never seen that no. lady with the I horse. Don't watch like that. when the no. internet first came out, right. you ain't never watched. No, that lady with the horse, right? That. Yeah. Right. It was like right. a Brazilian chick. No horses. I never watched that. Like, like, I never watched that. Because at first it was like, oh my god, I gotta see this man. This bitch is gonna yeah, suck see, a horse. Yeah, I never thought dick. about and that. And you're like, oh my god, she's sucking a horse. Dick. <laughs> no. like, it was not arousing at all. No, it's very odd. But that has nothing to do with the horse, female because my horse, I did not know that that happened. So there was a stallion around, and I guess all the mares go into heat, so they just squirt. It's probably some type of pheromone. No, well, what it, it, they have dripping. orgasms, and as they and that attracts the. I mean, what can yeah. he do? Hey, but it's it's you disgusting. Gotta hit that. It's disgusting. All in the. I if, call if, Paris a whore. If I went into a woman's house and you just squirted, <laughs> I got it. You got to have sex with her. Yeah, you, yeah. You're not going in. Yo, of course you are. All oh, right, I'm not using economy. Yeah, well, well, he did. He doesn't. Your horse. <laughs> He doesn't. Of course I don't not. think he, yeah. The, the mares back their behinds up to the fence so he can just, and it's slippery. Yeah, this is bad. I'm sorry. But I'm just saying, if you don't know and you would, you know, are interested in a, in getting a horse, you get a mare, just know that she's going to. You do know that we can go on like this forever. If you don't ever get to your topic, we're just going to continue talking about this disgusting. I don't even feel like relationships are important after this conversation. <laughs> like, I don't. I don't even I know where to go. You, I can talk about this forever. So obviously, if obviously, you don't, if no. you want, if you want to stop making that that gas we, face, we were trying. <laughs> we were trying to talk about, and I know this is going to go left. Like, who is in control? <laughs> I know this is going to go left of a relationship. Like, who has the control? Yeah, I, I don't think you guys are going to the relationship after this conversation. I don't see how we could possibly have a mature conversation about oh, relationships. I'm very mature. What? I'm so <sighs> mature. Yeah, let's just let's just wait. Let's just I, wait. Oh, now you want to be mature? <laughs> How have I not shit. been mature? Y'all always women always try to pull that shit. But you know what? I don't think. I just don't. Think. Kevin, well, can I ask you a question? Oops, women. Can, can I ask you a question that all the women are wondering? <laughs> Do you like women? I love women. I just want to make sure y'all. Because sometimes it just would have seemed that he's he does not. 
I don't like women. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I do. Know. I like y'all a lot. No, I love y'all. You guys are funny as shit. Just not beautiful. <laughs> just not all beautiful. No, you guys are hilarious as shit. I got, you got to love women. Got to love you. How can you not? How could you not? I don't... I mean, I think we're great. I don't understand. I almost... I'm Like, I love women so much. I... I look at gay people and I go, how do Uh-oh. you like a, a here we go. A guy <laughs> here we go. A gay guy that looks at a man, like how do you, I don't understand? Not that there's anything it. wrong with it. that. What? Because everyone like, has I would a right choose to a woman. Live. No, it's, I'm just it's saying, not a choose. Even an ugly woman, I would choose her every time. Every Isn't it's it not okay about to choosing. think there's something wrong with that though? If you want to think that something's wrong with that, isn't it okay? I would choose an ugly woman so. over a handsome man any day. Why not? I think that some people don't have it's not a choice. It's just their orientation, how they were how they were born. But it's not okay for you to think something's wrong with that? I just I don't think that you should really care what someone else's orientation is. Absolutely you shouldn't. Wait, haven't you seen haven't you seen someone in a relationship and you'd be like, why would they choose that? Like, how did that work out? You never had That's that totally thought. Different, That's totally different, though. That's totally different. I've thought that about straight, gay, a lot of different couples. Like how that, why that person choose that person. But at the end of the day, it's not really my business because right. they probably you know, saw right. something I don't see. I'm so, cool with you know, do whatever you want to do. But I'm just saying that you, you can't say it out, that though, can't. like because every because a person that's born gay obviously doesn't see women the same way as you do. Clearly, I'm okay with that. I have no opinion. In terms of polygamy, <laughs> shit, I guess it's more for me. Whatever my well, opinion could is. be would be offensive in some way, so I have no opinion on it, that. It appears it would be, but polygamy is reserved for those who are f- financially affluent. It's not an option. Broke dudes just have to cheat on their girls. <laughs> that was an See, evil it's cackle. A, it's such a sight, isn't it? That was an evil cackle. Let's say y'all fucking the same I know, dudes anyway, I know. I was so, just being yeah. mean. I was being mean. It's such a cycle. I was being mean. Oh, that's cute. That's cute when you're mean. <laughs> oh. I was being hateful. No, broke guys. And I, I don't, when I say broke, I don't mean like financially. I mean guys with no ambition. Like if he's oh, doing something. He's, that's, the, that's the qualifier. <laughs> right, no. Yeah. Ambition. Yeah, like if so he's if working he, a job and it's like this job is going so nowhere, he, he should state. know that. Right. But, he has a, but it's popping. How old is he? 22. Okay, he's, that's that's cute. 32, 60? sir. 60? <laughs> Please. So Please. He, if he asks you for half of dinner, but he wants to be a doctor, that's okay. What? First of all, huh? if you go out with a guy <laughs> and he asks you to pay for your half, of I've dinner, never had that happen before. But he, wants, I can he only has go by what to I be have, a doctor. You're like, I have never had a guy ask me to pay for half of never. anything. Nope. Mm. Mm-mm. You haven't lived, Crystal. I think you. But I if, think he, you, if he did, I probably just would be like, well, why would I just meet you and I could just eat by myself? Like, why would I do that? What? This There's a fundamental issue. Now, I've treated guys to dinner. Okay. And when they let me to do it, I thought less um, of them. Who, who, can anybody tell me <laughs> what, what exactly the show was about? Everybody, we talked about our first, we shared a moment. We talked about uh, our first time. We learned that you slept with an ugly girl to get your cotton out. Candy. Kevin was... Shout out to Candy. ...slightly taken advantage of by an older, more experienced woman with an apartment and a child. I wouldn't say slightly. She table danced for that nigga. And no. I, yeah. If I you're going to lose your virginity, I, frankly, I'd recommend you yeah. do it that way. I think it was... It sounded like a good story. So we didn't hear about you losing your virginity. I had my first kiss and it was disgusting. Kiss? What yeah. about the, the body? I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was it more than one person... I mean, sometimes like you start out strong. He started out with a stripper. What if you got, you know what I mean? You might have did a threesome or something, a train. What do they, what do they call that? It's <laughs> two guys and a girl is a train or really? is a threesome. You know what? I think that's a threesome too. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, You're shaming okay. women who've had threesomes. I don't think there are women out there that are actually doing that. Come on. No, no, no. Don't slut shame them. Come on. I'm not don't slut You don't think them. that there are women who no, haven't sex with two guys? No, I don't know. No, not at the same time. No, Come that's just on. Give those porn. women the dignity they deserve. Come that on. That is just in porn. That's not happening in real life. I have a guy on another show, uh, another show of mine that has those often. I don't believe with that. With family members. I don't believe that. I do. I think he's because lying. I've heard the story he's from both- He's trying to impress from, you all. I've heard the story from both people. Is it Jamie? Is it-, it Jay Smooth. Is it Jay Smooth? Jay Smooth. He's lying. You think so? I think he's lying. I'll cha- challenge. He's challenge he's Jay Smooth. Him, what you want him to do? It? I want to. Ch- no, I want. I'm just saying. I think he's. <laughs> I, I call bullshit. Well, I mean, okay. So here's the thing, right? I'm, I'm gonna let you tell me what you think. Okay. There have been times with some of our other homeboys who have said, "Yes, we did this with this girl." This girl. The reason why I know this is because one of the times, 
Never mind. He, but okay, the other time, the other time, I, I don't want to tell that man's business like that because it's a, it's really bad for him. Anyway, but the other time was with his uncle, and his uncle says yes too. You think a grown ass uncle's gonna lie about that? The, to think that a grown uncle would penetrate a woman at the same time his nephew is is yes. is, is, is is just it's hard to believe. Really? It's hard to believe. It's disgusting. I would say that, but yeah, I, don't I don't know if it's hard it. to believe. I think they're just talking. Really? You think yeah. an uncle is lying too? Uh, yeah. You think so too? No. I don't think people's uncles just lie on their nephew like that. Like, who are these people? These are regular, degular ass people. No, I don't. Because if these that. are if these are people that are talking about like they just basically just ran a train on this chick, right? Right. Okay. But a train is so different. this isn't like the upper crust of society. No. These are, well, I mean, they're not the lower it's, crust. It's, it's not like Obama and Joe Biden was talking about this. Shit. We're talking <laughs> about like Aaron these buzzwords. <laughs> yo, these are, these is regular ass like. Bottom feeding ass So you're nigga. saying that every guy that's running a train is a bottom feeder. I like that theory. Let's I go with that. I don't believe that. But what I do believe, though, is that some women lost their virginity that way. Because it was all, it took all the pressure out of it. I'm just hanging with the fellas. No one. That's and the not, fellas that fucked me. <laughs> that is foolishness. And foolishness and folly. No. I know middle school girls who have gone to to the get down party. Mm -hmm. And that I would, I'd be down. willing to bet that they probably lost their virginity that way. Cause I don't just, believe that. Get down. I don't believe that. My mom taught middle school for a lot of, a long time and they would find the kids in abandoned houses around the middle school having sex parties and drug parties. Drug induced sex parties. Who are these? Children? You know, when I was a, when I was in high school too, we had we had a teacher that actually got uh, lost her job because <laughs> we played truth or dare in the, the classroom. The teacher participated. No, the teacher didn't participate, but the teacher was so aloof, like there was no way that they didn't know what was going on. Oh, they weren't doing their job. Yeah, What's so job? It, when 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 word traveled, right, and the story came out, it was students had sex in the classroom, and like Arsenio Hall even like put it in his monologue, like it wow. it traveled. So wow, that was yeah. famous. Yeah, I, I, I remember yeah. I went to a high school here doing an event, and the t one of the teachers they couldn't stop the kids from having sex at school. Yeah, that's crazy. How can you not stop kids? Lock the door. There are I mean, lots like, of places. Like keep them. Oh, yeah, lots of that places. Works. Lots kids of will places. never figure out how to unlock the door. I know. They're in space probably. But I, I had a student one time who was. Why didn't anyone think of that? I had a student one time who was holding another kid up against the wall and pressing their neck in a certain way because there was this game that people were playing where they make you pass out. Oh my god. I, was, I, I remember that. I stopped. I, I, I like. Kids I, I was like. That. First yeah. of all, first of all, you're making me look bad. Right. That's but second that's of all, important. do you understand that if, you, if that person fell and hit their head, you may go yeah. to jail for, de for until murder. you're an adult? Yeah. No, past that, you could go for attempted well, murder. Or murder. Black kids, they will try you as an adult quick. Yeah. Anyway, um, I, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, share, subscribe. One of those. At least one. Do some of that. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll get Krista to tell us her uh, first body. That's not important. When she, when we'll she, see you guys next week. When she knocked down our first body. Mm. I want to hear more about this young boy you took advantage of. Right. <laughs> what was that was about? Like, share, subscribe. Music Love Life. Thanks. Music Love Life.